Jensen, Grubb, Jensen trying to save it. Cowboy up down the back. Couple of feature winners here on the front stretch as well. Travis Sherman. Oh, There's still three wide for the race lead. So it looks like the 27 of Kevin Joachim not making the call here. So 14 cars set to go 12 laps here for the uh, B main for USRA Ironman uh, B mod division. Maya Christensen, Tracy Johnson bring the field to the green. Christopher Hendrickson pulls off right away down the back stretch. So Maya Christensen leads in turns one and two. Tracy Johnson, second, Schlumbum, Judd, and Mulder, your top five. Schlumbum in the double zero. Devin Schlumbum trying to take over the second spot from Tracy Johnson. Schlumbum and Johnson still side by side for second. Tim Judd, Jackson Mulder, and the 45 of Dale Ricks Jr., the six cars in the transfer spots. Jackson Mulder with a big bobble, able to hold off Ricks for now, but Mulder, Ricks, and Sage. Sage the first one outside the transfer spots. Again, your top six cars transfer to the main event. As Jackson Mulder loose off the bottom of the speedway, that's gonna allow Adam Sage to get by and Ricks to get by. Sage up to fifth, Ricks sixth, Mulder seventh. Here comes John Kleinsman as well. A Hornets nest of cars battling around that sixth spot. Meanwhile, your leader on the back stretch is the 782 of Maya Christensen. Tracy Johnson, Dylan, Devin Schlumbum, Tim Judge, your top four, Adam Sage, and Dale Ricks Jr., your top six. Mulder trying to work the bottom side of the speedway, trying to reel in Ricks Jr. for that sixth and final transfer spot. As your top four cars are broken away two by two. Christensen, awful high in turn four. That opens it up for the 75 of Johnson. Johnson and Christensen side by side in turn one. Christensen on the outside, gonna take the top spot back. As Maya Christensen able to hold off the challenge for the race lead. Caution on the speedway. Michael Guthrie stopped the top of turn four. Caution for the 4G of Guthrie. So Maya Christensen got a little high last time around, but was able to hold on to that top spot. So Maya Christensen making the trip down from Sioux Falls on the gas in turn number four. We go back green flag race with five down. Dale Ricks not getting up to speed on the start. Reese Coffey making a big move. Coffey all the way up in the sixth spot. Jackson Mulder still sitting there in seventh. As Reese Coffey got that 10 in, moving to the front. Adam Sage sideways. Ricks goes around. Sage goes around. Michael Guthrie caught up as well. John Klein's out the high side trying to avoid as well. Lots of cars stopped in turn number four. Lights are out around a speedway again. Five laps scored complete on the O'Reilly Auto Parts Maskey Motorsports scoreboard. Back to green flag racing here in the B main. As Jackson Mulder this time not getting the traction up to speed as Mulder loses a couple of spots on the restart. It's Maya Christensen, Tracy Johnson, Reese Coffey up the inside trying to take third from Schlumbum. Reese Coffey in the tent up the third spot. Tracy Johnson on the back bumper of the 70, 782 car. As Reese Coffey again working the bottom of the speedway. Trying to move forward in the 10 in. Coffey all over the rear bumper of the 75 machine of Tracy Johnson. Johnson at the top of the speedway holding off Coffey in a battle for a second. Schlumbum, Judd, and John Kleinsman, the sixth and final transfer spot. Reese Coffey again to the bottom in three and four, trying to get the grip, but Johnson too strong up top. Johnson and Coffey battling for second. Johnson on the outside of the 75. Coffey inside of the 10 in. 
as your top six cars have separated from the rest of the field. Coffee and Johnson still battling for second. Judd and Slumbo battling for fourth. Johnson gets a good run off turn two, separates a little bit from Coffee down the back stretch as it's Christensen. Johnson and Coffee running one, two, three. Coffee again dives to the bottom in turn one and two, but can't get the grip. The top side too strong right now in the 75 car of Johnson working the top of the speedway. Maya Christensen leads the field off turn four. First one of the big bed sheet. One more time around for Maya Christensen. Again, your top six, top six half separated from the field. Adam Sage goes around in turn four. Sage trying to get that 4S refired. Cannot get it refired. We're going to have caution on the speedway. Caution for the 4S of Sage. That will be as the field are taking the white flag. Yellow and checkered will wave. Maya Christensen will take the top spot. Second to Tracy Johnson. Third, Reese Coffey. Dylan Schlumbum. Tim Judd and John Kleinsma, your top six. So got Connor Vanderweer straight down, having some trouble with his uh, race Sievers. So we'll get Connor where he needs to be, right next to uh, Carl Brewer in the 13K. Again, 18 laps the distance, 24 cars set to go green flag racing with the USRA Ironman B-Mod main event. Tyler Johnson, Jeff Brunson, your front row. Off turn four, foot on the gas. We're going green. Jeff Brunson to the outside, takes the top spot. Tyler Johnson in line in second, up on the outside, the 85 car trying to make a move, but here comes Cody Thompson. Driver of the 25C dives down to the bottom, trying to make it a four wide battle for the top spot. Got one out in the tall grass outside of turn three. We're gonna have a caution on the speedway. Caution on track as we got one stopped outside of turn three. One down, 17 to go. As the pace picks up, green flag waves, we're back racing. Jeff Olsen joining the field real late in the 2G. Maldry makes a big move, slide job, Jones. Look out, contact with Jeff Brunson. Maldry dump trucking it through turns one and two. The 85 car slows down the backstretch. Caution on the speedway. Got cars going around at turn four. It's crazy town at Park Jefferson Speedway. He'll go back to being your leader as he uh, was not involved, obviously, in the incident. The 85 brought it out the caution. So with one lap scored complete, we'll go back to green flag racing. Rusty Montag getting aggressive on the start. Gonna go slider up into turn number two. Jeff Brunson goes around. Jeff Brunson goes around. Stop the bottom of turn number two. Rusty Montang breaks in turn four. Something breaking under the rear end of the T1, Rusty Montang. Tough break for Montang as he has slowed down the front stretch. Oh, big spark out of the back of the T1. Montang will take that car to the pits. Green flag waves with two laps short complete. Tyler Johnson brings the field to the green. Carl Brewer, too high in turns one and two. Brewer gonna lose a bunch of spots off turn number two as Brewer loses four, five, six spots down the backstretch. Tyler Johnson leads in the 91. Cody Thompson second. Two by two, they go three wide in spots back to the pack. Connor Vanderweer inside the top five now, working the bottom of the speedway off of turn number two. Jake Sockow in the eighth spot. 
Reese Coffey started 19th. He's already up inside the top 10. Reese Coffey getting it done. But out front is Tyler Dobbs with the 91. Cody Thompson, Brock Hess, Lyndon Johnson, and Connor Vanderweer your top five. Really beginning to pull away as Tyler Johnson out to the lead ahead of Cody Thompson. Brock Hess, Lyndon Johnson, Jake Sockow now in the top five. Johnson very high in three and four, but able to make it stick. Still holds him under four front advantage over Thompson. Nearly a half straightaway back to Brock Hess in third. A couple of cars going around in three and four. Tim Judd, Jeff Olsen. And the 22 of Tyler Tesh all going around in turns three and four. Caution on the speedway. So five laps are scored complete. Five complete. Everybody checks up for the restart. We go back to green flag racing. As Cody Thompson dives to the bottom. Thompson not able to take the top spot. Jake Sockow gets too high. He loses a bunch of spots. Look out, 11, uh, Johnson slows down the backstretch. Brock Hess having trouble with three and four as well. Jackson Mulder goes around. And the 11 of Tyler, or excuse me, Lyndon Johnson, the 11 brings out the caution. Six laps are scored complete, six down, 12 to go. With Tyler Johnson, your leader in the 91. Green goes back out and we're racing. Cody Thompson going topside in turns one and two. Thompson too tall in turn one. He's going to lose three, four, five spots down the backstretch. As Tyler Johnson leads now Brock Hess, the 75 of Tracy Johnson coming from the B main all the way up into the runner-up spot. Carl Brewer goes around in turn four. Brewer in the 13 goes around but keeps the car rolling. Brewer back into the infield. Looks like he's calling no joy in this feature event. As your leader off of turn four is the 91 of Tyler Johnson. A lot of smoke out of the zero machine of Devin Slumbum. Slumbum showing heavy smoke in the double zero. But out front, it's Tyler Johnson putting a hurting on the field in the 91 as we're halfway home. Nine down, nine down, nine to go. Tyler Johnson out front in the 91. The 75 of Tracy Johnson has rolled off 18th. Tracy Johnson, the 75 up into the runner-up spot. a ton of real estate to make up as Tyler Johnson, the 91, way out front. Cody Thompson trying to recover back into the top five after overshooting turn one there on that restart. Thompson going to go slider in front of Connor Vanderweer. Thompson up the fifth. Jake Sockow trying to make a move up into the third spot. It does. Sockow to third. Thompson to fifth. Tyler Johnson flirting with disaster on the top side of the speedway. Jake Sockow slides up, turn four. Moves Sockow up to P2. Suddenly Sockow makes some headway in the 14th car. Sockow up to second, but he's a full straightaway behind your leader in the 91, Tyler Johnson. Cody Thompson trying that lower line to move into the fourth spot as well. Reese Coffey trying to move up into the top six. Blue Breeze Coffee up to sixth in the 10 end. The 14 of Sockow is reeling in Johnson in the 91, but not sure if he has the time to make the pass as Johnson has a huge lead with just a handful of laps remaining. Leader coming up on lap traffic. Jackson Mulder could go a lap down here in the next few laps. Cody Thompson slides up. Luke Thompson to the third spot. 
Your top three are now Tyler Johnson, Jake Stock, Allen, Cody Thompson, one, two, and three. Tyler Johnson flirting on the top side of the speedway. Gonna put Jackson Mulder a lap down this time. Having a little trouble getting around the four car. But Johnson out to a huge lead. This time by the flag stand, the white flag away for your leader, Tyler Johnson in the 91. Jake Sockow second, Cody Thompson third. Through turns three and four, a dominant performance. For your feature winner, picking up the big money tonight, it's the 91 of Tyler Johnson. Second to Jake Sockow. Cody Thompson third, fourth the 75 of Tracy Johnson and Brock Hess rounding out the field. Checkered flag waves. Great run through the field. Tracy Johnson, the 75, started 18th, was as high as second before ending up in the fourth spot. But your feature winner with a dominant feature win in the 91 car is uh, Montrose, South Dakota's Tyler Johnson. We'll uh, work our way over into uh, victory lane. Tyler Johnson getting out of the 91. Going up top victorious here tonight at the Fark Jefferson Speedway. Well, let's start here. You're in victory lane with the Iron Man series. I'm gonna give a hug for Dave's family. Let's talk about this. Where do these races sit when you go to victory lane against the Iron Man Tour? Well, I'm always really excited to get to run these. I don't get to travel around and race as many of these as I'd really like to. Um, and for some reason or other, I don't seem to run as well as I would prefer to when they're in the area. Uh, I've only won one of these, and that was because I finished second. The leader got disqualified. So this is the first one I got to win outright. Um, I felt like last night, if things would have went good, we were as fast as car there last night. So hopefully we can go back on Thursday and pick up another one. This one's extra special with Dave's family and stuff here. And Dave was a really good friend of mine. And uh, we got to spend some time with me and my wife, with Dave and his wife, uh, away from racing. And uh, so it's important for me to win these. Uh, in. I told Joy, I Snapchat her earlier this week. I told her I could win it this, or hoped I could win it this weekend. So this one's uh, by far my biggest win. Let's talk about the race itself out there. Pole position start, but it wasn't like you walked away right away. There was a lot of what we'll call stuff going on all around you there in the early laps. There's nobody that wants to start in the pole less than I do. I can tell you that. I hate leading races. Um, I led one a couple weeks on Rock Rapids and gave it away in the last lap because you just don't know what to do. And I said, on it, I'm going to drive the out of this thing and put it up top and just stand on it and uh, I didn't see nobody I didn't hear nobody so it worked out I'll tell you you had at least a straightaway on him at the checkered even in uh, in traffic uh, that's a whooping from where we come from uh, congratulations on the win thank you very much Tyler Johnson in victory lane here with the Iron Man B modifieds they're gonna celebrate in victory lane we've got the stock cars coming up next Leroy Beck there's something about me going in victory lane down here that brings out certain word you, that we've uh, learned this season. You do have quite the effect on uh, drivers of victory lane bringing out, shall we say, their true feelings, if you will. I think I may be suspended or Adam's going to have to pay me a nice check at the end of the night. I'm not sure what's going to happen.